Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Mystic Rose and I'm so happy to have you here with me today as we explore all about what assumptions do people make about you when they see you based on your physical appearance. So there will be three different piles to choose from, okay? And that's going to include gemstone selection or image selection or some kind of combination of the two. The choice is yours. Go ahead and go to the timestamps below to make your selection, okay? And if you start to watch a pile and it just doesn't resonate, it's okay. You can go back to the beginning and try again. And please be sure, if you're watching this video and you really like it and it resonates, please be sure to like this video and leave me a comment because it helps me. It helps me to know that you like this kind of content and letting me know that it resonates really allows me to know how I'm doing as a reader. So definitely be sure to like and leave a comment. And if you like my vibe, please hit subscribe and join the tribe. I would love to have you be part of this awesome community. I love you all so much. Thank you to all of my returning subscribers. Thank you to all of my Patreon members. And thank you so much to all of my channel members. Without your continued love and support, I would not be able to do this. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Without any further hesitation, let's get started on today's Tarot Pick a Card reading all about you. What assumptions do people make about you based on your physical appearance? Let's get started. Hello and welcome to your gemstone selection. So if you are drawn to this red jasper, you will choose pile one. If you are drawn to this purple amethyst, you will choose pile two. And if you are drawn to this light green aventuring, you'll choose pile number three, okay? So go ahead and think about which pile or piles you're most drawn to and if you need more time you can pause the video but if you're ready let's go ahead and get started with today's tarot pick a card reading all about the assumptions that people make about you based on your physical appearance Hello beautiful souls, welcome. If you chose image one or this red jasper, you're definitely in the right place for today's pick a card reading. Today's reading is going to be all about the assumptions that people make about you based on your physical appearance. So this is going to be a deep dive. At the end of today's reading, I will be laying down some letter tiles and channeling a little bit so that you can make sure that this is your correct pile. Okay, because I know that many of you enjoy the confirmations. And I will also roll astro dice, okay? And let that be extra confirmation. I will be using a couple of new decks. One is an oracle deck, and it is by Amanda Lee. I've used it just a couple times before, so it's relatively new to me. It's a wonderful little deck. And I'm also going to be using a brand new deck called Tinseltown Tarot, as well as my unity deck which i created if you like and enjoy this deck and you'd like a deck for yourself be sure to look in my description box below for a link that'll take you to my etsy shop where you can actually purchase a deck for yourself all right yeah what i like about this deck is that on the back of the cards on the cards it has all the different meanings in the corners so it's like anybody can read tarot with this deck so it's it's great plus it has my own original artwork so i'm a little biased <laughs> okay so spirit please be here now with me and help me to deliver clear concise and accurate messages to my pile one collective all about the question at hand and spirit please speak through me as you always do wow okay we had a card just fly right out we've got the ten of pentacles okay so this is all about the assumptions that people make about you when they see you Okay, I'm just going to move this over a little bit here so I can place these here. Okay. 
All right, I'm getting a picture already. Definitely feel like heartbreaker type of energy. You're definitely a sweetheart, but there could be like some people that look at you and they're like, okay, she's a heartbreaker or he's a heartbreaker. Like I'm hearing that song. You're just too beautiful, girl. That's why it'll never work. You'll have me. You know that song? Um, I was hearing that song for you, group one. So people can kind of look at you and be like, oh, they're definitely like somebody who could leave me heartbroken because it's you're very difficult to get over. Very, very hard to get over. I'm also hearing like you are you are really like everybody's sweetheart. Ooh. Some people, though, when they look at you, they think that you could be kind of a little bit like cold or like, you know what I mean? Like picky about like other people and maybe have high standards. Okay. Oh, wow. We have the page and the Knight of Swords. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius type of energy here. You could be uh, an air sign or you could just really come across as this like, you know how like the air, th air sign when you think of an air sign you always think of like swords okay and swords what do swords do they're cutting right they cut so sometimes people will think that like swords energy is a little abrasive and they don't really put up with a lot like they're they're very smart and um they're great people they're so much fun and um but they just you know they have a low tolerance for <laughs> like toxicity or like you know drama or people's bs so you're coming across like when people see you they see you as like you're in control of yourself you know who you are you have a lot of confidence you exude the confidence of somebody who almost like i don't know it's almost like you could have a small amount of fame or you maybe people meet, mistake you for a famous person or they think you could go far in that industry but look at this like you know, he's just driving down the road. He looks very confident, very cool, and he's well dressed. When people see you, that's how they that's how that's what they assume about you is that you're very confident, you got your ish together, you're going places with the chariot, you um are making pretty good money. You look like you're somebody who's in charge. You look like people might assume that you're in a leadership role of some sort. Oh, wow, we have the Queen of Swords, too. I can't even make this up. Wow, we have the Eight of Cups. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, look what we got. We got the Ace of Wands, which is for Leo Sagittarius Aries type of energy. But the Ace is more of like... When you're talking about an Ace, it's like an offer. So people, a lot of people, when they look at you, they see your passion. They see your beauty. The Wands is all about beauty and attractiveness. And here we see a very glamorous woman looking in a little compact mirror, putting on some lipstick. And she's wearing some fur, like a fur coat, and she really looks glamorous. I think that when people see you, they see somebody who really takes care of themselves. They also see you as somebody here who has old classic Hollywood types of vibes and glam vibes for sure. You really know how to glam it up when you want to. And you look absolutely elegant especially if you're in your divine feminine you have queen energy very stately energy and when you combine this with like the vibes that you give people people can wrongly assume that like yeah you're quick to like walk away so there could be like kind of like a little bit of hesitation to get close to you you could intimidate people like if you're a woman you could intimidate other women okay that's what i'm really getting yeah, so when people look at you, because there's so many swords here, I would definitely venture to say that people just kind of view you as somebody intelligent and that you know what you want. <laughs> Let's see what else, Spirit. How else do they, are they presenting? Young Spirit, that makes so much sense because with um, the air signs, I think of Gemini. Gemini is always young at heart. No matter what their age, they're always young at heart. And they're always on the go, always doing things. So you have a youthful spirit that's never going to grow old. And a lot of people see that about you, this confidence, this youthfulness. And they're like, how do you do it? 
how do you always just look so good? It's because of your youthful spirit and you're taking good care of yourself, you know? And then we've got connected. See, you're very connected to spirit too. And with the high priestess, people just know it. They can look at you and they can just know. They know that you're somebody who is very connected to spirit. How do they know that? Well, you could be given off some subtle signs. It could be with the things you're wearing. You know, you might be wearing crystals. You might be wearing interesting spiritual things like, I don't know, anything that you might associate with that. Okay, you could have a spiritual kind of tattoo or astrological sign tattoo or something like that. You just also just like your vibe. It's just your vibes. It's hard to explain, but you could have an aesthetic where it's kind of like people can just look at you and they just know. <laughs> Okay, because you do look very um, intoxicating and um, you look, I don't know, it's just like you kind of look um, like mysterious and stuff. You have a goofy side to you too, which people love. And if you catch you, if people catch you at the right moments, you have a great laugh. And I feel like, yeah, you might come across as like to some people as... Um, maybe hard to hard to get or hard to please or you know um hard to keep up with in a conversation because of your intelligence level but like when you're connecting with people that are at your level you can be really goofy and like friendly and um down to earth and you really take people, people by surprise and um people that really know you they know how they know that you can be very goofy and it's just it's almost like a relief you know um because you can be so relaxed but I think that maybe when you're out in public, you can kind of put on like a face, the face for the world that says, hey, I'm a little bit, <laughs> I'm a little bit um, like royalty here. I don't know. It's kind of like that. It's, I mean, look at her stately stature. Doesn't that kind of like look like, hey world, I'm here. You know, I feel good about myself. It's really screaming those kinds of vibes. And then, I mean, this in conjunction with that Knight of Swords. Even the way he's standing, he's just like, you know, he's dressed really well. He knows, he knows what he's doing. The assumptions people make about you is that you're clever. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't surprise me with all the swords energy that you got here because swords are very intelligent. They are extremely known for their intelligence and their capabilities in expressing themselves verbally. So, yeah, that does not surprise me that people, when they look at you, they just assume that you're very clever. How else, you know, are you able to, um, like, pull off all the looks you do? Um, how else is it that you are so good at your job and everything that you're doing, like, in your personal life? Like, you're very clever. Even the way you interact with people is very clever. And it's almost like just, yeah, it's... It just flows effortlessly from you because of your intelligence level. These ones just like came flying out. So I'm really interested to see what these say. We've got reputation and guide. So many people, when they see you, they just th see you as like a leader. Like I said before, because with the emperor, that's all about leadership. So people see you as a leader, a guide. People want to follow you. If you're like um, on social media or something like that, like you could have like a lot of followers and stuff like that. Okay. Or people that want to follow you. People that like when you're out somewhere, they could assume that you are famous or that you have a lot of followers. Um, like I said, you could look like a famous person um, or like have those vibes. Reputation. People, like, in your town may kind of, like, I don't know, like, you may have some kind of reputation for being all these things. And, like, people just know when you walk into a room or when you come into a place, all eyes look at you and they're just like, there he is or there she is. There they are. <laughs> you have a reputation and it can be intimidating, okay? I'm not gonna lie. For some people, it can be downright intimidating, um... The, the cutoff game is strong, okay? Like I said, the cutoff game is real strong. And that with, like, your... I don't know if you have, like, kind of, like, a witchy aesthetic or something like that. With the high priestess, you could have, like, some sort of a, a witchy aesthetic going on that can be kind of... I want to say, like, a little bit intimidating to people, okay? 
And you may have like a little rebellious streak going on too, is what Spirit was telling me, is that you could have a little bit of a rebellious nature to you. Yeah. Um, and I think too that like, you, somebody here could have tattoos, some kind of tattoos, and they're very, you know, noticeable. It's not going to be for everybody, but if you do, um, some people see your tattoos and they think you have, like, a rebellious side. Even if you don't have tattoos, though, I, do, I still think that people look at you and they think that there's something inside of you that's just a little bit rebellious, okay? Um, it's just the assumptions. Um, more assumptions that people make when they look at you is that you're like, yeah, you're definitely like a nonconformist. But yeah, you, some people may even assume that you're very artistic or that you, um, maybe some people think that you are a tattoo artist and maybe you are for some of you, but you, you seem like you're highly skilled at something and very talented, especially artsy, because the way you're putting together your style is, is very interesting it's graceful and also you know how to put together really professional looking snazzy outfits too but in your personal time it's like you really turn a lot of heads just based on the clothes that you're wearing i don't know if you're like designing them yourself or putting together unique combinations but there's something alluring about it about the way that you're dressing it's definitely getting people's attention because it's something like sort of mysterious or enigmatic Okay, it's very distinctive. Your appearance is very distinctive. You could like alternative type of fashion. That's the thing is like, you may not like just classic, you know, little staples or whatever. Or you like to take a classic staple like a little black dress and put a little bit of edginess to it. Um, you could have like a dark, I don't know, kind of like a gothic aesthetic for some of you. That's not going to be for everybody. But whatever it is, there's a little bit of edge. A little bit of edginess or a little bit of unconventional, you know. So people like may think that your personality is a little bit unconventional and unique. You you also exude like a very, very strong personality here. Very, very strong with that swords energy. Um, it's almost like people just they, they don't want to mess around. They don't want to mess with you or like piss you off. And, um, they think that you're very assertive, like you, you will go for it. You'll go for what you want. You're a go-getter type. And they may even think that you have somewhat, like, they'll look at you and they'll just assume that you have quite an entrepreneurial type of mindset too, or like, you know, you're a self-starter. And, um, it might just lead people to believe that because of the way you're expressing yourself, you just look very business savvy, especially when you're dressed for professional things. You look really savvy. And people assume that like you are highly skilled, you know what you're doing, okay? And yeah, um, you just seem like a type of person who has like a lot of drive and a lot of um, impetus to really go forward. And there could be something a little bit like, I don't know, something about you that kind of screams independence, I want to say. Like, you're kind of more on the independent side and people may be able to, like, look at you and think that you're very independent. So, it's kind of like they, they look at you and they think you're self-reliant, especially in the field of your career. Like... You could be known for um, just foraging your own path. Maybe you do something different than anyone else in your whole entire family has ever done. Some of you could be um, in the limelight. I am seeing that with this. Okay. Um, you've made some kind of career decision that may not be in alignment with what your family has always done in the past. I am definitely seeing that. So you seem like you are a self-starter. Like, you know, you're doing something different and unique. People can just look at you, though, and see this, this independence about you and your creativeness and your artistic expression and things like that. Like, you have many sides to you. You are very multifaceted as an individual. And your passion is just, it, it exudes from your literal pores. Like, your passion for life and creativity and everything and your, your fashion sense and everything. Um, even, like, if you're doing makeup, it's just... It's amazing. Like, it's so on point. And if you have body art, like I said, or body modifications or anything like that, it's really, it's been done in a tasteful way. 
that really um, expresses your artisticness and creativity. Um, another thing like I'm picking up on is just that you have real authentic types of vibes too. That, you know, you're not fake, okay? And people can tell that. Like, you mean what you say and you say what you mean. And that's where a lot of the intimidation comes in because people don't always want to hear your truth, you know? So you look like somebody who would tell the truth right to your face. And that can be scary as hell sometimes. Like people, they don't always like it. Okay. But when people look at you, they think that you're very authentic. You're not trying to be anybody else. You're just unapologetically you. And that's awesome. You are very open about, you know, who you are, your experiences and your struggles. And you'll tell like people, you know, as long as like if there's trust there and stuff like that, I feel like you're willing to open up and tell people about like, you know, who you are and that some of the things you've been through, if there's trust there. But yeah, like people that know you really, really well, they know what a dear soul you are. But I think that sometimes like people may be afraid to come up to you and they may not, they may not think that you're willing to tell them personal stuff. That's the thing. Cause I was kind of getting that as I was saying that I was like, Oh, I don't know. I think that some people think, and I was just getting this intuitively that they could think that you don't divulge secrets about yourself easily. You know what I mean? But like you will tell people that you trust like the things you went through. And I feel like you could be like a real asset to people. Like I said, like a coach, a guide. You could be somebody who's really, really good at guiding others so that they don't make the same mistakes that you made in the past. And that could be in personal or business endeavors. And, um... What else, Spirit? Anything else, Spirit? Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think what I want to get into now is I want to get into, like, the the portion where I do, like, the... I'll put out the letter tiles and... And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I'll roll the Astro Dice so that you can just get confirmation because I know many of you like that confirmation that this is definitely your pile, okay? I hope that you're enjoying this. Please be sure to hit subscribe if you like my vibe and become part of this awesome tribe. Love y'all so much. Thanks for, thanks for being here. And don't forget to like and comment if this is resonating so far. Um, I'm going to um, put these down here and you can look for your initials or your name, okay? And just kind of see what's there. I'm going to cast some charms too. Uh, Spirit just um, reminded me. <laughs> so thank you, Spirit. I will be casting charms. Because the charms are really a great way to add to the reading um, in a fun way. I don't know why I was like, this made me think of like Moulin Rouge. Maybe some of you, uh, maybe you kind of like look like Christina Aguilera or somebody else. Who was in Moulin Rouge? Um... I want to say it was, I'm going to have to look that up. I can see her face in my mind. Okay. But anyways, you could look like the main character in Moulin Rouge. Uh, maybe you really like that movie because that was coming through or something about burlesque dancing. Anyways, you can see your initials, your name in here, first, middle, or last. And if not, that's okay because I'm going to be rolling the Astro Dice. So, yeah, but you can place a little spiritual scrabble. You can look and see what words you see in here. It could be a fun little thing, exercise for you to do. Sometimes the really important words that spirit wants you to see will stick out to you. And it's always really fun to see, like, what stands out to you all when you put that in the comments. Alright, so I'm just going to put these here, and then I'm going to grab my charms, and then we'll go ahead and get started. And I'll do some more channeling with the letter tiles and charms, okay? And if it's missing one letter, everything's there except one letter, it still counts, okay? I always say that. And you can duplicate letters if you need to. Okay. Here we go.
And then I'll roll the Astro Dice. Gemini, Aries, Capricorn, and Sagittarius. So that could be your Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, or the energy that you are embodying. And let me get my charms. Okay. Got my charms. So, okay, Spirit, um, what do you want to add to this conversation, Spirit? Okay, well, first thing that's coming right out is um, this big bright flower. So maybe some of you like to wear bright clothing or like accessories. Maybe you like to wear like all all black, but a little bit of a punch of a color or some kind of fun accessory. Flowers in your hair or something like that. Some of you could um, identify with like Celtic heritage or Celtic tradition. You could be Irish. Here's an engagement ring, so yeah. Somebody could be thinking about popping the question to you, or you're the marrying type. You're somebody that people would want to settle down with. Um, we have the toilet, which seems so random. I'm going to hold that up. It says flush, so that charm just tells me that there could be some situation or person that Spirit is bringing through um, that you need to... Um, reconsider in your life okay we have envy there's somebody in your circle who's very envious of you okay maybe that's the person um to kind of distance yourself from and you could see this person's initials or um name in the tiles okay somebody you're thinking of um and that's not going to be for everybody but if you know and you were waiting for a confirmation that that's a confirmation oh my gosh look at this so we have diamond and the diamond ring. So that's double confirmation that um, for many of you, there could be somebody thinking about popping the question to you. We have the spider here, which can be for good luck, okay, and protection. We have the yin yang here. That can be for um, opposites attract. So you could attract a lot of people that are very different from you but it's like moth to a flame type of energy like you draw in a lot of people but they they seem to be very different like on different levels than you you know what i mean like spiritually or economically or something like that like you draw in a lot of people but they they seem like they they may not be on your exact level which is interesting we have the bikini babe so that just tells me that like you have a really beautiful body and many people admire the shape of it. We have the black cat, which is for good luck. So many people see you as lucky. And uh, maybe you like to change up your hairstyle or you could have recently got it cut or colored or something like that. Um, there's something definitely noticeable about your hair that people love. And then we have the flower. So you're always blooming, always blossoming, always changing, always growing. And it's just beautiful to witness. To virtual. Some of you could work from home. Okay. You could work from home virtually or do a lot of Zoom calls or Zoom meetings. I was even seeing FaceTime. Some of you ha are in relationships where you like you have to FaceTime people. This could be like relatives that live far away or maybe your significant other boyfriend or girlfriend lives far, far away. Um, the name Babs is coming through. That could be like a nickname. I'm also seeing like a cute little image of like um, Babs Bunny. You know that Babs Bunny? There's like Bugs Bunny and Babs Bunny. So there could be like an... If uh, a real love or affinity that you may have for Babs Bunny or maybe I mean that's not gonna be for everybody but let me just see if I can show you a picture of Babs Bunny <laughs> she's adorable she's such a, a little girly rabbit um okay here's Babs Bunny she's a pink little rabbit 
So, I mean, maybe you guys, maybe some of you really, really like Babs Bunny. I don't know. If you do, you could also, maybe you were like, I don't know. Maybe you watched that cartoon growing up or something like that. Please let me know because that was definitely coming through. It's some kind of like Teenage Rabbit. Yeah. It was in a show. I don't know what it was from. Um, Tiny Toons or something like that. But yeah, definitely let me know. Okay. <clears throat> I was hearing Harrison. Um... something Vaughn, like, I don't know, something Vaughn, like some kind of German name that starts with Vaughn, so your last name could start with Vaughn. I was seeing, like, in my mind, a horse, or like, a, um, I was smelling, like, the Stetson cologne, so it's, it's like a musky cologne. Maybe you know somebody who wears this kind of cologne. I was seeing the Stetson cologne in the commercial with the man with the cowboy hat and all of that. So, yeah, let me see if I can look that up. Stetson man. There could be somebody here who looks like the Stetson man. Like a cowboy. Okay. Here's the Stetson man. He's definitely a cowboy. Um, so maybe this is what your vibes are kind of like country or i don't know <laughs> or you know somebody that's close and near and dear to your heart that's like that this is just a confirmation could be your significant other looks like that or there could be some kind of love of the country or love of horses okay anything else I was hearing the name Cherie and Fifi. I mean, there's definitely a cat here named Fifi, so I don't know if that's a cat that's with you in spirit for some of you or a cat that is alive, but there's a cat with the name Fifi coming through here. So just letting you know that. Um, also, it could be a kitty cat just that is with you in spirit that wants you to know that and their name could be spelled out entirely in the tiles so all right that's all i'm getting for y'all for pile one i hope you enjoyed if you need a personal reading be sure to reach out to me um my email is in the description box below and all the info that you need in order to book a personal reading with me and if you like 18 plus uncensored readings, join my Patreon because it's so much fun. And you can cancel it anytime if you don't like it. So there's um, a link to that in my description box below as well. And also, if you would like to donate to my channel, it's never expected but always appreciated. And it helps me to buy things for the channel such as tarot cards and oracle cards or candles or different things like that, okay? All right. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Feel free to watch however many of the other piles that you were drawn to, if you were drawn to any. Take good care, and till next time. Bye. Hi, beautiful souls. I'm so glad that you're here today. I hope that you'll enjoy today's tarot reading all about the assumptions people are making about you based on your physical appearance and the way that you look. So for pile two, it's image two and this purple amethyst. So if you chose uh, image two or purple amethyst, you're in the right place. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna connect with spirit. Spirit, please be here now with me and help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my pile two collective. All about the question at hand, Spirit, and please speak through me as you always do. Thank you, Spirit. I'm going to start off by cleansing the space. I'm going to be using my Unity deck today, which is a deck that I created. If you're interested in um, a deck for yourself or as a gift to a loved one, there's actually a link in my Etsy or in my description box below to my Etsy store, so definitely be sure to check that out. And what I really, really like about this deck is that each card has the meanings in all of the corners and a yes, no divination tool in the bottom right. So it's a lot of fun. 
Anyone can read tarot with this deck. Plus it has my own artwork. <laughs> so I'm a little bit biased. I love this deck. All right. So spirit, what are, what are people assuming about my pile two based upon their looks, how they look? Hmm. Two of cups, 10 of swords, Six of Swords. I'm just going to move this over just a tad here. The Star. And the Empress. Wow. You're very attractive. I can tell that people notice that when they look at you. They can definitely look at you and see that you have a lot of very attractive physical attributes. It's almost as if you were made for the starlight or the spotlight because we have the star here, which, you know, has that, uh, that vibe about you, like that je ne sais quoi kind of vibe. People can like look at you and fall in love with you. People assume that you have a lot of choices when it comes to love and romance. And, uh, they assume that, yeah, you have a lot of choices that you could have your choice of anybody basically i'm also going to be using the tinseltown tarot oh wow that's a lot <laughs> but i did see the ten of swords that came out again um so yeah oh wow came out again people do tend to look at you and almost like see a little bit of sadness in your eyes maybe it's a, something that you aren't even fully aware of that you carry in your eyes you might have had like a difficult past or um some kind of tumultuous situations happened to you in the past that maybe you're over because it looks like you've gotten over it you've triumphed over it but there's still like a little bit of sadness that you carry in your eyes some of you could be um in the spotlight with the world card there, it doesn't mean that you necessarily are. But I mean, when we have the world and the star, it's like you were born for fame. Okay. If you were drawn to pile one in any way, I would say definitely check it out because there may be some messages in there for you because there's a similar vibration here, even though I shuffled and um, sprayed my cleansing spray. We have the queen of cups and king of cups. Oh, wow. Wow. You have a really, really fun personality. And look, we have also uh, the wands. So the wands is for fire and cups is for water. So that is fire is Leo Sagittarius Aries. And then cups is Pisces Scorpio Cancer. Not only do we have the king, but we have the queen of cups. Meaning that like <laughs> whether you are male, female, whatever you identify as, you seem to embody all of the most positive, divine, and masculine, and feminine traits of each of the signs. And you're everything that everybody could want all rolled up into one thing. That's why people fall in love with you. Two of Cups. People, like, they feel very connected with you. They feel like they can tell you anything right away. A lot of people might actually um, assume that you are famous, which is interesting here. Because look at this man. He's signing all these autographs. And these women are reaching out to him like... They're like, ah, uh, like, I don't know. It's kind of like that feeling of like, um, they want his attention. So you may get that a lot where like people assume that about you, that everywhere you go, you get attention. And with the three of wands, you are a friend to everyone. People can look at you and they're like, now that is somebody who could just get along with everybody. The way you interact with people, the way that people see you interacting with people is like, yeah, you... People know that you can get along with, like, anybody. And, uh, also I just wanted to say that you don't have to be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, or Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries to be kind of, like, enveloping these traits and qualities and, like, displaying these out into the world. Because these are just your energies. So when people look at you, they might just assume that you are somebody who's very in touch with your intuition, your emotions, you have a high EQ, emotional quotient, and you're somebody who's very like determined, um, you go after what you want. You're not forceful, but you're determined. 
Um, you're somebody who exudes a lot of power. They can definitely tell that by just by looking at you that you're powerful, magnetic, exciting, and um, there's something about you that I feel like you part like deep down you do crave a bit of adventure. And you can um, be a little secretive. People can tell that like they look at you and they're just like, oh, that person looks like they have a secret. And it's kind of like something in your eyes that you hold in your eyes. Like I was saying, like I keep seeing these like beautiful, beautiful eyes, but they hold secrets or they hold sadness or some maybe a secret sadness. Okay. What else do people see and assume about my, um, well, what do they assume when they look at my pile too? Yeah, with that Empress energy, I mean, that just tells me, like, you are very physically attractive and you're very creative, too. You have a unique style and sense about you. You have a unique flair. I'll say that. You have a unique flair about you. And with the Page of Wands there, I feel like, you know, you're very protective and people can tell that about you when, you, when they look at you. They can just tell that, like... You're somebody that is really sweet, but like if you mess with you, you'll kick somebody's ass like proverbially and not make, you wouldn't probably get violent, but you, you can stand up for yourself. You can stand up for your loved ones. You're very, very, very protective. And yeah, you love the spotlight. So, I mean, that does not surprise me at all that you got the world and the star because some of you could be like social media influencers or something like that. If you aren't, you really could look into it because Spirit is saying that like you have a natural gift for it because you're very um, charismatic and very, very like good looking. Yeah, you have a confidence about you. So that just like makes people swarm to you. Like I'm seeing a bunch of bees just like swarming um, around a hive and I'm really, really sensing that like you, your energy is is like honey it's sweet and it attracts it attracts a lot of people people that want to just talk to you or like get your attention or get you almost to like look their way it's yeah it's very evident here so we've got masculine here an extra so i think you really are like a combination of masculine and feminine energy and um some people when they look at you they think you're extra so they think that like when i say extra what does that mean like you could be very lavish with your um like your taste is very lavish and extra meaning like maybe you have very exuberant qualities about you like your mannerisms may be like very accentuated and your uh, idiosyncrasies may be very unique and some people might say over the top, but like you could have big mannerisms, you know, like talk with your hands and gesticulate quite a bit and like laugh and have a like big loud laugh and like very contagious, you know, um, kind of laugh. And <clears throat> you can switch back and forth between feminine and masculine. Really, it's almost like it can almost be a little confusing for people. I think sometimes it can be like give people like a some kind of like a little bit of confusion or like whiplash how fast you can change from like a feminine grace to a masculine um kind of like forcefulness or like um assertiveness assertiveness yeah the confidence the you exude like the feminine confidence and the masculine confidence all right you also exude a sensuality that is very palpable So you're very, you have a lot of sensual energy. You're a trailblazer. You're not afraid to start new trends or fashions. Oftentimes people look to you to see what's in style or like what looks good because you don't really follow trends. You're more of the person that sets the trends. And then we have adventurous. Yeah. So thank you spirit for that. Like I was saying in the beginning, like, so that just confirms that you're the type of person that really like craves a bit of adventure and people can tell that just by looking at you. Okay. And we have social on the bottom of the deck. So you may like not feel like the most sociable person in the world, but you can socialize. And when you are out in public, people assume that you're very popular or you're very sociable. Even if you are kind of feeling like a little bit, you know, unsure about, you know, being out in public, 
you really do have like um I want to say like a lot of exuberance and a lot of confidence that almost like fools people into thinking you're more adventurous than you actually are or thinking that you're more um I don't know like confident than you actually are but yeah you have so many good traits and qualities um I was hearing popularity and fame again I think spirit is bringing that through people might assume that you are very highly popular or that you're famous because there's something about your appearance here that is like it's almost like recognizable you may get that a lot like oh you look like so and so or you look like somebody I know you have a very like almost like recognizable face or like a very like familiar face but it tends to look um almost like model-esque I want to say so that's really really coming through for you also people can like look at you and almost think that like you're you're um bougie or wealthy okay that you're abundant and that you're very outgoing like I said I think people look at you and they're like oh yeah that person's very like vibrant very outgoing they they love your persona that you may they may think that you're putting on like I don't know some kind of act but they they love it like when you when you get out in public or when you're in the spotlight you can act a certain way and it's it's just like it attracts people like I want to say like like flies it like attracts people but in a good way I was saying like bees to honey or something like that I don't know I keep hearing like references to insects it's very interesting but yeah I think that too like you have a very bold and colorful sense about you here i'm seeing reds and purples and blues pinks and um oranges vibrant colors so i really do think that many of you like to have like a pop of color i'm seeing that with andy warhol like um the marilyn monroe with the pops of color oh my gosh i love that kind of artwork i should show y'all what i'm talking about because maybe some of y'all haven't um I know many of you have, but let me just show you. It's pop art, and it's the Marilyn Monroe pop art by Andy Warhol. I just love the vibrant colors. Some of y'all may be artists or something like that. Um, let me see if I can show you. You may like to wear, like, bright, vibrant colors, or, like, maybe you like to wear the um, eyeshadows that are vibrant like that. And let me just show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about with like the vibrant eyeshadows, the blues, the pinks, the yellows, um, like hot pinks or neons. And you have a very colorful, colorful personality. You could have a very distinguished mark on your face somewhere, like a beauty mark or something like that, like a, maybe a little birthmark or something like that on, like on your cheek um, that makes you stand out um but not in a bad way so yeah that is pop art andy warhol and that's what was really really coming through spirit was showing me that and that could just be a symbol for your creativity too and your artistry because some of you could be artists musicians or just very very creative some of you could design elaborate costumes some of you are into like theatrical performances i'm seeing that some of you come up with like your own catchy songs. Um, I think that people look at you and they just assume you're very creative and artistic. I really do think so. They think you're vibrant, outgoing. Um, they think you're extroverted. I really am. Th I'm picking up on that. I think that people think that you're even more extroverted than you actually are. Okay. And that you enjoy being in the spotlight or like the center of attention. I'm getting a lot of Leo energy here. It doesn't mean that you necessarily have to be a Leo, but I'm definitely picking up a lot of Leo energy. And charming. I was hearing charming. I think that people look at you and they they think now that is one charming individual, you know, and yeah you know how to be charming when you want to be i really do feel like you you know how to be charming and people when they look at you they they may think that you're more high energy than you actually feel too um because they think you're very lively and you have a lot of like enthusiasm and you have like this natural charm about you it's very captivating like if you are in the spotlight you you know how to captivate an audience 
the spirit was telling you that. Or even if you're just in a group of people, you know how to hold all the attention of all the eyes. Everybody's going to be looking at you. You have a playful and fun-loving personality. I am sensing that, especially with having the king and queen of cops here. I just really think that you have like a great smile and you have like this playful, fun-loving attitude about you. And it conveys like this playfulness that it just never gets old. People are never bored around you. You never know what to expect because you're always like a ball of surprises and so much fun. And, you know... I think that you also, you have a soft side though. You can be very like empathic and you can pick up on like the feelings of other people too. And people may know that about you. Like that it kind of goes back to like that sadness in your eyes. I think that people know that you have, like they can look at you and they can see that you have like a soft side or like um, that you would be really good with like people, like healing people or like listening to people, counseling people who are hurting and you seem to have a big heart like you're a really big hearted person and when people are talking people can tell that you actually listen because you make good eye contact and you give all the signs that you're listening like head nods and like repeating what people say and so like you're a very active listener and you're very engaged that's what spirit was showing me it's somebody who's very very engaged as an active listener so and i think that you you really are like true to yourself you know, you come across as true to yourself and very down to earth and people can see that about you when they look at you. You just seem they're almost like very humble, even though many of you are very, you know, good looking and you have a wonderful personality. Like you're very relatable. That's the other thing too. People can look at you and they're like, oh, that person is really relatable. Like there's not necessarily like an, a sense of intimidation there. It's more, it's more like relatable energy. Okay. Um, I'm seeing two here with this, uh, six of swords. This is about conquering things. So I really do feel that, um, uh, when people look at you, they really can tell that like you're an overcomer, you've overcome a lot and you're resilient. Maybe you've faced a lot of challenges or setbacks throughout your life or even in your career sector of your life for some of you, but whatever it is, it could be work or personal, but you have really shown that you're resilient and it shows when you're out in public because of the way you can carry yourself and you seem like the kind of person that can overcome anything. You just seem very strong. And some of you too, you may just appear very physically strong and very like you have such a countenance about yourself that you appear very um, like energetically strong as well. And your body language denotes that. Like you, I'm seeing somebody who walks in a way that like, it doesn't really show that you're feeling like sad or depressed. So people, I mean, even though they might sense a little bit of sadness in your eyes, it's like a past thing. But when they really, really look at the you, they can, they can like almost like be 100% sure that you've been through something, but that you are an overcomer and that you you um have achieved like a level of happiness people think you're happy and um with the cups here too that's really about being very empathic and people can look at you and they can tell that like you're very empathic you know how to like feel the energies around you it's like you have antennas you can pick up you're very sensitive to people's energies and really, you're just, you're a really fun person to be around. I mean, at the end of the day, you're just like, when people think about you or like they look at you, they're like, that person is fun. <laughs> you're really funny. And, and, and when you are extra, it's actually really funny. People love it because you have a funny sense of humor and you can take it to the next level. I'm hearing like you can take humor and playfulness to the next level. Okay. And also, you're not just playing around like you're going after your goals. So you're 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 the best of both worlds because you're down to earth, but you're also playful and fun, you know. So that's what is really really coming through here for you, my pile too. So I think what I'll do next is um, I want to just put out some letter tiles and kind of see um, if we can like get you know 
some different messages in the letter tiles and i'll cast some charms too it'll be a lot of fun i hope that you're enjoying this so far please remember if you are enjoying it um and you like my vibe please hit subscribe and join the tribe i would love to have you thanks for all my returning subscribers for being here channel members patreon members love y'all okay um and please hit like um if you are enjoying this video so far because that really does help more than you know and also um if you could comment and let me know if this resonated that would be awesome it helps me to know that you um really really resonated with the video um i think i'll say like a few names but not too many and um uh, i will roll the asteroids okay and look for your name in here or your initials if everything's there except one letter, it still counts, and you can duplicate letters if you need to. I was hearing Abby, Daphne, Jody, Janelle, Jake, Amarita, Amaya, Abraya, Charlie. Charlize, um, I was hearing, uh, I don't know, I've never heard this name, but Genghis, um, I have no idea, I just have to say what, what comes to me, um, Giovanni, Jamal, Jaden, Ash, Asher, or Ashton, Faye, Fabrizio, the last name Fisher, Phineas, and if I'm saying names of like a lot of people you know, let that be confirmation too, okay, Wyatt, Alice, Elise, Ellie, Anthony, Tatiana, Tashina, Vivian, Adam, Stephen, Andrea, Tiffany, Greta, Gretel, Bill, or William, Serena, Serenity, Morgan, Marie, Maynard, Manny, Prisciliano, Shelly, Chantel, Davion, Angel, Theo, Theodore, Gail, Brianna, Brooklyn, Dean, D Diana, Don, Dan, Daniel, Danielle, Jessica, Jeff, Jeff, Jennifer, Jewel, Jasmine, if you didn't hear your name, that's okay. Like I said, look here for your name in the tiles, first, middle, or last. Also, um, I'm going to be rolling the Astro Dice.
Okay, so we've got Capricorn, Taurus, Pisces, and Aries. You could have those signs in your Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Okay, now what I want to do is cast some charms. Spirit, help me to choose out the correct charms for my pile too. These might have different messages in them that you need to hear. Okay, I'm just the messenger. It can be anything. Hopefully it'll be, you know, on our topic. We've got the frog for safety, so know that you are safe. Okay, you are protected. Spirit just wants you to know that. With the flower here, that talks about like your beauty. And a lot of people can just look at you and be like, wow, that beauty is refreshing. Just like the flowers when they come back um, in the spring. How refreshing it is when you see them again after like a long winter, depending on where you're from. And then we have the butterfly for change. I think that people have seen your looks and your personality change in many good ways and that you, you're very vibrant. Yeah, I mean, change. Here we got again. So this is for change. This represents change. And this one represents change because this is just like the death in the tarot. Interesting. I don't know why I'm thinking of like Pirates of the Caribbean, that movie. So maybe you're like a lover of Johnny Depp or... You could look like Johnny Depp. Um, you are more beautiful than you know. Okay, that's what that charm says. You are more beautiful than you know. Oh, wow. Look at that. We got the skulls and crossbones twice. Interesting. So definitely a lot of change here. That could be like significant of you starting to lift weights or get on a, a health program or like losing weight or, you know, feeling good about yourself. Maybe you're feeling better th about yourself than you ever have. You're hopeful. You got the hope here. It says a wish will come true. So you got a wish coming true for you. That's awesome. Self-control. Okay. There may be a need for self-control in some area of your life. Spirit is saying you already know. We got the you already know charm as well as the cat which is for good luck but it also talks about your independent nature and then this one here says you are experiencing what's in your soul contract so there's something going on in your personal life that is meant to be that um whatever it is know that you are safe and protected and um your heart's desire and wish will come true as long as it is in alignment with um the divine's will okay that's awesome you got some great charms i hope that you really enjoyed uh today's reading definitely be sure to uh like and share and subscribe and comment and also, if you would like to join my Patreon, I do have a Patreon for uncensored 18 plus love readings. If you'd like to join, you can go to my description box below and check out um, the link and it'll take you right on over there. If you'd like a personal reading, I do offer those. More info is in my description box below. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, it's never expected, but it's always appreciated and it helps me to buy things for the channel like new oracle cards and tarot cards and all that so I can keep the channel fun and interesting. Thanks again so much to all of my channel members who support my channel. Thank you to all of my Patreon members for the, for the love and support as well and my returning subscribers and also my new subscribers. Thank you. I really appreciate it and I just want to say welcome to the tribe. Much love to you all and feel free to watch however of the other, you know, piles how many of well, i can't talk however many of the other piles you were drawn to because there could be multiple messages in there for you okay and take good care bye hi beautiful souls i'm so happy that you're here with me today today we're going to be exploring all about the assumptions people make about you when they just look at you so yeah, it should be really, you know, jam-packed full of info because I'm going to be using a few different decks. 
I'll be using my Unity deck, which is a deck that I actually created. It has my unique digital artwork on it. I'm pretty proud of that. And hey, if you want to get your own deck, there is a link to my Etsy store in the description box below. I'm also going to be using this deck by Ashley Lee. And, or I'm sorry, Amanda Lee. And it's called the Character Oracle. And I think you can find that on Etsy as well. Um, and then I'm going to be using the Tinsel Tontero, which is a really fun little deck. Okay? So it'll be really, really fun and jam-packed full of stuff. At the end, I will be putting down letter tiles and rolling the Astro Dice for confirmations. Okay? Because I know that many of you like those. All right. So Spirit, please be here now with me and help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my Pile 3 Collective, all about the question at hand, and Spirit, please speak through me as you always do. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So I'm going to start by just cleansing the decks. Spirit. What kinds of assumptions do people make just by based on looking at my file three? Just by looking at them? What kinds of conjectures or assumptions do people make? Okay. We have temperance here. So that stands for like total balance of like your body mind and spirit like you seem like you're just somebody who's very well in in balance people also assume that maybe you're into fitness and stuff too that maybe some people just look at you and they're, and they're like man now there's a person who does um yoga or something like that like people can just tell that like you take care of your physical apparatus your physical body you take care of yourself really quite well Yeah, you take good care of yourself. That's Four of Swords is about self-care. See, notice how she's taking a bath and she's got a candle going. And yeah, it's about taking a, a time, a little time out for yourself. So when people look at you, they know that like you are the type of person that you don't mind taking a little bit of time out for yourself. And also Queen of Pentacles can denote Earth signs. So Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You just kind of have that energy about you where you seem very responsible and um, like you're a hard worker. People think that you're very serious, but also, boy, do you know how to have fun with the Ten of Cups. You know how to party. Um, I'm hearing that song, the party don't, wait, what is it? The party don't start till I walk in. <laughs> that one. Don't stop. Yeah, you can know, you know how to get the party started. You are the type of person, though, that, like, you will walk away when, um, I guess when it's just not working anymore, you know? And there is a little bit of an element to you of, like, people, they think you're awesome, they want to please you, um, and they never want you to leave, you know? And there may be this sense of, like, a fear that comes with, like, knowing you that people want to, like, cling on to you. You may get a lot of people that, like are a little bit needy or want to cling to you it's just your energy it's just that like people um, in a way they're afraid that you'll you'll walk away or you'll leave and people think you you have a lot of options when it comes to friends you're very likable because you're very giving i mean look here we got the six of pentacles we have a handout receiving we have one handout giving um you're very like giving and and receptive so you really are like a, a mix of some of the greatest qualities that i've seen in a, in a personality. Okay. What else do people assume about you? Lovers. Okay. People assume that you could have a lot of lovers or that you have a lot of admirers. Not lovers but per se, but like that you have a lot of admirers or like people coming out of the woodwork trying to like offer you uh, love offers. Also, people may assume since that's underneath the Eight of Cups that you have a lot of people that you've I guess like a lot of exes I'm hearing that so or so I can't talk I'm, my brain is going so fast um that song um my exes and O's they want me like a ghost they haunt me 
I think that's like Megan Trainer or something like that. But like, yeah, people look at you and they assume that you have that total heartbreaker type of energy that you have like a lot of exes. Um, yeah, people in the past that you have like left behind and there is like a sense of like, um, don't leave me. I'm hearing that song by Pink. Please, please don't leave me. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it's called Please Don't Leave Me by Pink. So I think that there is like, you know, that like sense that like people almost like may be afraid that you're going to like, what if you left their life, you know? So there's heartbreaker energy around you. There is that. What else? You have glamorous vibes. I mean, look at that. We've got old Hollywood charm here. With the chariot, you're also just ready for action. People look at you and they're like, now that that person's a no-nonsense person. That person is not messing around. Here we have the knight of pentacles and the chariot, but notice they're both getting out of the car. Arriving at the destination. People think that you you are, um, all of your goals are must be coming into fruition because you seem very happy. Very celebratory. You're just, it's like people look at you and they always like, you just seem to have happy vibes. Even though you may not be necessarily feeling that on the inside, that's what people assume about you is that you're very happy and that you've, I mean, look at this. Yeah. See how she's re received this award and she's accepting an award and like, it looks like she's giving, um, like an acceptance speech. People like when they look at you, they think that you're somebody who is a winner. Okay. They, and, um, yeah, they think that you you're an achiever they may even think you're an overachiever that you've achieved a lot for your age or in your lifetime or something like that you could be somebody who's very like um multi-talented so you could be very talented with music or acting or um you know anything you're doing with your hands but also with your mind you could be somebody who like what i'm seeing is Somebody who's delivering something orally, like a, a poem or something. So you could be somebody who likes to read poetry or read books. Um, I don't know. There's just something very intelligent about you that people kind of like notice. And they can tell that you have a sharp mind just by looking at you. You look like somebody who could be taken very seriously. But yet at the same time, it's sort of juxtaposition with um, like a good time gal or like a good time um, guy, you know, or good time person, somebody who knows how to have fun, but like also somebody to be very taken very seriously. Page of Pentacles is again, an earth sign. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, it doesn't mean that you are. Um, but you know, a lot of people would, would think that about you, that you, you seem to, um, have quite a bit of money. They may make that, you know, association because they're looking at you and they're like, wow, that person looks like they come from money. They may think that you come from money. Sorry, I dropped, I dropped a card. This is what this is what fell on the floor. They may think that you you um, come from a wealthy family that you may because you know the way you look, or that you make a lot of money, or that you married into wealth or something like that. Okay, and some people may just assume that you're gonna marry into wealth or that you know you make a lot of money. They could even assume that you are an administrator. Um, something at the top of the business world okay and also you're just very responsible people can tell that your clothes are always really clean and like well thought out and like planned and stuff and i'm seeing that like your clothing it, it doesn't look wrinkly it looks like it's pressed if it's like formal wear it looks pressed it looks good and you always smell great you could be a teacher, okay, because that teacher card came out. That one flew onto the floor. I had to bend over to get it. We have teacher, neutral, introverted, committed, sensitive, outgoing. Oh, boy. You're quite a mix, aren't you? And logical at the bottom of the deck. You're quite a mix. You are somebody who's very introverted, but you're also very outgoing because look at that. Wow, what an interesting dichotomy. What an interesting personality you have. You can be both depending on the occasion, okay? So that's very interesting. Um, and people look at you and they can just tell. Like at times you seem very introverted and at times you look very outgoing. And people, sometimes they look at you and they just assume that you're committed, that you're into, you're already in a relationship, you know, even if you're not. 
people just assume they're like, oh, I'm sure they're, they've got somebody. They're so good looking. They're such a catch. I'm sure they're taken. So maybe some people just don't even approach you to like ask you out because they just assume that you have somebody. Many people just assume that like you have a lot to, of things to teach people or that you are a teacher. That you like to stay neutral and you don't like to engage in drama or fights. People just can tell that about you too. You seem very fair-minded. You could have a, like, a lot of Libra energy. Um, or maybe even Libra in your chart. Also, people can tell that like when they look at you, people like assume that you're very sensitive. Whether you are or not, that's just what they think. They think that you have a sensitive nature about you. You're all heart. I mean, look at all these pink cards. We got pink, 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 and even some pink in that rainbow. And, you know, we have a lot of red, too. I think you're passionate, and I think you're very loving. And when people see you, they're seeing all of the different um, sides to you that are really some of your best traits. When you meet people, you really know how to put your best foot forward. And that is really coming through strongly here for you, my pile three. So I'm seeing, too, here with this card that you are very beautiful and very glamorous combined. The two of those combined. Whether you are somebody who, you know, is a male or a female or whatever you identify as, you're very glamorous. Like, you know, you can be a man and be very glamorous. You know, I mean, look at him. Um, just full of pizzazz, really. Pizzazz, personality, and um, you take care of yourself. It really shows. It really shows. And you could literally embody like just this in both like you know if you're somebody who is let's say you're you could be an actress I mean I'm not saying everybody here that's watching this is an actress or is into theater but you could be if you are you really shine on the stage or if like if you're a social media influencer or something like that you really shine okay and people can tell that about you um, if you are not, but you were thinking about going into like something where you're on a social media type of platform, you would be very good at it. You really would. We have this camera here and we have all these actresses. I'm really thinking that like you would have some natural raw talent and ability to really shine on camera. And people could assume that about you that, you know, you have an acting career <laughs> or you should have an acting career. And, um, you have a very young appearance and some people may assume that because of the way you look young and beautiful, some people may assume that you do work out, you prioritize your health, your wellness, and some people may think that you've undergone some kind of co cosmetic procedure or something like that. They may assume that it may not be true, but they could assume that, that you spend a great deal of time, um, on your body. Even if you don't, some people just may assume that you spend a lot of time or money on your body and looking good. And um, people might also just assume that like you do tend to lead a healthy lifestyle just due to your very toned physique and your very radiant, glowy complexion. So these are just assumptions. And you really come across as that person with like that warm friendliness that really draws a lot of people. And does cause people to fall in love with you quite easily, quite fast. And yeah, people do assume with this pentacles here that people do assume that you're successful, you're wealthy, and you're financially successful. It doesn't mean that you are, but it's just like you're giving off all the vibes to people that you are very like well to do or well off. Okay. And that you are extremely like a, like a very happy person and um, you're easy to please. You're e it's easy to elicit like laughter out of you because you're just like, you know, you're just like one of those people that like laughs easily or like smiles easily. And uh, very friendly. People just see you and they see you as like somebody who is just nice to everybody. Nice to like all types of people. And even like in the... F yeah, even in the face of any challenge, you seem to have, like, the sunniest of dispositions. Like, you have a really positive attitude, and it reminds me of, like, the sun, because Spirit is showing me, like, the sun card and the tarot. 
And that can also stand for Leo type of energy. So you could be a Leo, but um, you definitely have like that radiant vibe about you where it's like you're positive, you know, you, you seem optimistic and people can trust that about you. And also like you inspire others. Okay. And Spirit is also telling me that you like to try new things. Or at least people assume that about you. That, you, you know, you like to try new things. And it's because of, like, your energy. You always seem like you're spontaneous or, like, ready for anything, ready for action. And the energy you have is just, like, I don't know. It can be contagious to people that want to be around you. Because they like your demeanor. They like your... I don't know, like the interactions, the way you interact with people, it's, it's a mix of like, this humble to even a word, but like humility, I want to say, humor, grace, is, spirit is bringing to mind. Um, you often know how to bring like laughter to any situation, even if it's like something that's like, um, where other people are stressing out or whatever, like you can lighten a situation with your lighthearted laughter or whatever, or like your levity. You're just like, you're kind of like, I don't know, like a breath of fresh air is what I really want to say. And people can see that about you, that you're witty. You have like that witty kind of, you, you may be good with like comebacks and you never do put downs. You're not that kind of person and you don't like put downs or talking smack about people behind their back. You're just one of those like really compassionate, emp empathic people and individuals where you wouldn't want to talk about somebody behind their back when they're not there because like, I don't know, like it seems like you're like, you're just a very nice person that's very conscientious about that. Like, you know, that golden rule, like do under do unto others as you would want them to do under unto you or something like that. It seems like that could be like a motto that you live by or something like you know, do unto others as you want them to do to you or something like, seems like you treat people with respect and you're very philanthropic and you're like, um, you're somebody who helps empower people, or at least that's what people think about you. They may think that you're into like envi environmental conservatism or conservation. They may think that you're into like different activist group or like women empowerment or, um, various causes, you know, you have that fighter spirit, but it's like a fight for what's right, you know, kind of thing. Anything else, spirit? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. So now the next thing I want to do is I want to segue into the portion where I'm going to be channeling and laying down letter tiles it'll be a lot of fun i hope that you'll enjoy i'm gonna also be rolling the astro dice and uh yeah casting charms is a fun part of it too because like with the charms i can get like a whole bunch of information so that'll be fun um i'll be channeling names so hopefully you'll hear your first middle or last name or you may see your name spelled out in the tiles too if everything is there except one letter, it still counts and you can duplicate letters if you need to. If I say like, you know, your family's name or like somebody like a family member's name or like lots of people, you know, but let's say I don't say your name. That's OK. Just take that as like confirmation that this is definitely your pile. If I'm saying like names of a lot of people, you know, because um, that's a confirmation. OK, and. Yeah, Spirit's going to bring through some names that I'm just channeling. So hopefully you will enjoy this. I'm seeing Luna. Luna, your name could be Luna, or you could even see like your screen name in here. Valencia or Val Valencia. Valentina. Hugo. Andre. Olga. Binta, Marnie, Marie, Marina, Colton, Arlene, Pierre, Ch 
Chaz, Erica, Lynn, Darius, Nicole, Nadia, Phyllis, Irene, Nancy, Yolanda, Peyton, Paige, Parker, Della, Dania, or that could even be like Dania, Denise, Janice. Janessa. I was hearing Walton. That could be like a last name. Walton. Or Walters. Maddox. That could be like a first or last name. Julia. Gerard. Yo... What is it? Yolanda. I already said Yolanda. Yolanda's coming through again. I don't know why. I think I already said Yolanda. Sometimes names come through twice. Yasmin. Yasmin is coming through. Okay. Jarvis. Hmm, that's an interesting name. I don't know if I've ever heard that name before, but Jarvis. Nikita or Jaquita, something like that. Janetta. Rick. Okay, and you can look and see. I'm seeing the name Chad. Chip. Chase. Chandra. Chandra, we have Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, and Aquarius again, so let me roll again, and Capricorn, so that could be your Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. You can play a little bit of a spiritual Scrabble if you'd like to as well, because that's sometimes fun to see what you can find in here. Um, okay, well, I was going to mention that, but, uh, I'm seeing, a, I'm seeing something, it's a song title, but, um, it's a little controversial, so I don't know if I should say anything. Alright, um, but I am seeing a song title in there. I'm looking for my tray, just a moment. Okay, I was going to say that I was seeing um, Unholy by Sam Smith, but it's a bit controversial, okay, um, the issue of Sam Smith. Some people like him, some people don't, and I'm not saying either which way or anything about it. I'm just acknowledging that I see that um, song. There's a song by him that may be meaningful to you. Some of you, maybe you danced to it or... Um, You've enjoyed listening to it in the past, okay? Okay, now these are going to be messages that need to come through for you. This can be about anything. Hopefully it'll be, it'll be about the topic, but it can be, sometimes I get things that are, that seem off topic. We have Aries. So when people look at you, they assume that you have the energy of an Aries, which is adventurous, energetic, pioneering, courageous, enthusiastic, dynamic, quick-witted, confident. Um, that's what they assume about you. Just by looking at you. They assume you're loyal. You have so much loyalty. They can just tell. You seem lucky, too, with the pig. That's about good luck. And we got the black cat. We had that in one of the other piles. I think it was pile one. 
if you were drawn to pile one, I would say definitely give it a shot. But yeah, um, you're very lucky. People think that you look very lucky. We have Hello Kitty. You, I think that you have like an innocence about you, or like a um, like maybe you like to wear very uh, youthful kinds of clothes or styles, or maybe you love stuffed animals. Um, even if you're an adult, maybe you love stuffed animals. Okay, you could have them clipped on your bag or your purse, or you, maybe you wear like one of those purse backpacks if you're a woman. Um, or if you, you know, are in your divine feminine and you love purses, maybe you wear a backpack with like little stuffed animals. I am seeing that. Quirky socks. You're not afraid to just be yourself and let yourself shine. And um, it says God is orchestrating behind the scenes. So for some of you who are kind of hoping something is going to be happening for you soon behind the scenes, just know that that is coming through and um, that the universe is orchestrating behind the scenes. And we have sweet and sour here. So um, that just talks about like, I think that that could talk about like your personality. Sometimes you're uh, very, very sweet. And other times maybe you, you know, can be a little sour. I don't know, sweet and sour, like sweet, sour, a little bit. Um, it just depends on like which mood you catch you in. But like overall, I think you're very sweet because I was hearing like you're a sweetie pee. I think you're very sweet, but like sometimes people could assume that you um you can get in a bad mood i think it's rare though you can get in a bad mood it's kind of rare aquarius energy so when people look at you they um could assume that like you march to the beat of your own drum and also people just kind of like assume that you're friendly you're humanitarian like you fight for a good cause you're honest you're loyal you're original you're inventive especially like with your style and stuff like that you're very inventive with your mind and your imagination you're very inventive independent intellectual type okay and some of you um are very very just smart at the way like you may know a lot about science we have the deoxyribonucleic acid um chain here which just kind of reminds me of like the interconnectedness of it all. And you're very spiritual, but also very smart, like very book smart. Let's go ahead and see if we can play a little spiritual scrabble here. You can look for different words too. Okay. And if you find words that I don't see, you can put them in the um, comment section and that would be awesome because that might help out other people too. I was seeing like Chile, you could be from Chile. There's a country, Chile, I believe. I don't know exactly where it is. I also was hearing Brazil and I was hearing like, I was hearing 70s or love child. Some of you could be, maybe you were born in the 70s or what else? What else? What do we see here? Nay. I'm seeing nay. Some of you could be horse lovers. Lay. Hmm. Okay. Play. I think that just is like a testimony to your playful spirit. You know, when people look at you, they, they do see like a little bit of a playful spirit. Almost like a fairy or like a fae type of spirit about you. You could really like elementals. Irish things like that, like fairies and things like that. You could have a very like... I don't know, like romantic vibe about you. I was hearing like Gone with the Wind or like I was hearing like Scarlet O'Hare. You could have like a very like romantic vibes about you, but very independent nature as well. People may want to like, you know, work for your affections and that kind of thing. And once people get your affection or attention, they if, it's very satisfying. That's what Spirit was telling me. It's very satisfying. I'm seeing fave. Favorite. You're definitely somebody's favorite. So you could be like the favorite child. I am seeing that. Favorite child. You could be like the youngest in your family or the baby.
The name Lydia or Ladia is here. Claudia. I heard octave, so some of you could be music musicians. Maybe you play piano. Hmm. Okay, I think that's all that's coming through. But like I said, like you can continue to look or, you know, and, and let me know if you do find something that I missed. And yeah, um, I hope that you enjoyed. Please, uh, if you like my vibe and you like this content, please join the tribe. Hit subscribe. It's awesome. I, I love having you be part of this awesome community. And it's just great to have you be part of it. It also really helps my channel. Um, and I love forming this community with y'all because it's like a dream come true. Um, all of my Patreon members and channel members and, uh, and supporters and, and new and returning subscribers really help me out. And I just wanted to say, I appreciate you. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking this video. It helps. If you'd like a personal reading, I do offer those. You can go to my description box below for more info on how to get one, you know, of those from me. And also um, in my description box, you'll find all the information about my Patreon, a link that'll take you over to my 18 plus Patreon. It's really fun. And if you'd like to donate to my channel for to help the channel to get things for the channel, like uh, oracle cards or like, you know, tarot cards or little candles or whatever, um, you can donate to the channel. You can find the info in the description box below, but never feel obligated. It's just for anybody who um, feels like they want to uh, give back to the channel. It's not expected, but always appreciated. All right, much love to you all. Stay beautiful and blessed. And until next time, bye.